Howdy folks, this is 42% Health. Welcome back to Hex and 2 Walkthrough. Um, this is my third take with this video because I keep dying. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is start save scumming. Uh, we're starting the third hub. Uh, and there's some highly destructive enemies in this hub. Now, it really helps if you can hit those guys with a meteor or two. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, because I got that, I'm kind of like going YOLO. I have 3 HP. All right. Holy strength begins to wane. All right, so it's finally running out. All right. Um, intro to the hub now. Uh, the This hub is more puzzle-centric than combat-centric. Um, kind of like the first one. I, I, this is the puzzliest hub, to be honest. This is the hardest one to figure out. This is the most obtuse. But that's okay. I've played through it a few times. I don't have the puzzles memorized, but I've played through it a few times, and I can figure it out again for these videos rather quickly, I think. Um, uh, the thing that's killing me is the enemies. Uh, there's some new enemies. You saw two of them. One was the ice imps, and they are the super version of the fire imps. Uh, the other was this, um, you know, Egyptian looking dude. He kind of looked like one of these. And those enemies are a lot of fun, in my opinion. They're one of my favorite enemies in the game because as you do damage to them, their limbs fall off. And as they, their limbs fall off, they behave differently. Uh, they do generally become weaker, so kind of cool. Uh, welcome to the Temple of Horus, god of the sky and protector of the pharaoh. The fiends! Two of Thysus' greatest treasuries have been stolen for the sake of honor, both crowns must be returned to their resting place. First, I must find the four canopic jars and enter the afterworld, a place I hoped to never see. I happened upon a gravely wounded scribe who told me to use the staff of Nefertum to advance the Wheel of Ages. I have put this down as the delirium of a dying man. Let us hope that this is the case. Alright, so... Yep, we've got... puzzles. The Staff of Nefertum is kind of the hardest puzzle, and this whole thing is kind of filled with puzzles, to be honest. Alright, these guys are easy to tease, just like Quake, because they've got a they've got a slow melee. They've got a slow melee attack. Um, once both their arms are gone, they are melee only. Oh, dog on it. And they'll try to hit you with that little stump of an arm they got left. These are super golems. I don't like to mess around with them because... Whoa! I'm down to 5 HP and I just blew myself up. Ah, uh, you know what? I've been playing Skyrim, and now E is the use button. Let's do that again, shall we? So my plan here was to... hit that guy. Because, yeah, if you hit them with a... meteor, then it only takes one hammer strike to kill him. Uh, there is more blue mana down here if you need it. Forgot about that. But yeah, now he's gonna try to hit us with his stump of an arm. Dang it, I keep jibbing him. If you hit him again, they lose a leg, and then they crawl around and try to bite your ankles. Twenty HP. 
Um, there's two barred doors this way. I don't know if I showed that off, but both of them will open later. There. That's them without a leg. They look so pathetic. And yeah, you can even kill them by jumping on them. Actually, you can wreck anything by jumping on it. Falling on something does damage to it. Like if I could get on top of this jar, just jumping up and down would eventually smash it. Not that. This. How did I wake up that... Anubis dude? Yeah, these guys have a homing attack now. That's pretty annoying. There he goes. Oh, he bit my ankle. Yeah, let's see if I can... Yeah, you can smash it by jumping on it. It works with pretty much everything in this game that's destructible. Alright, I'm going to drop a save here because I actually died here in one of my previous attempts. There's a lot of ice imps over here. And there's him. Come on, guys. Nice. Okay, that's them. All right, just keep moving down. Yeah, these flying critters are too hard to hit. And these guys have way too much HP. Ta-da! Alright. Um, jump up, hit the button. This snake will start shooting at you. Now there's a passageway to the left, uh, but it's a push wall. So just get in here as fast as you can. Um, yeah, there's a button that opens that door, and there's a quest item. Or not a quest item, I've been playing Skyrim too much. You've encountered the Eye of Horus. It's a puzzle item. Once you push the button, though, the snake is disabled. He won't hurt you anymore. Nice, those are actually good for scorpions. Except they seem to have like a rust attack that they can do. Dang, will you stop it? That hurt. Man. Oh, more of these jokers. These guys are too hard to hit. Oh, 
All right, mana. Uh, this door requires the key of Anubis. Uh, you can jump down here, smash through this wall. In general, any of these walls with the crackle are breakable. Uh, I'm gonna get this ready again. Oh nice, how did he die? Uh, the key of Anubis is right here. We also have a clue. Now I'm going to be paying close attention in this playthrough because I I think there's a mistake. I think there's a slight error in these clues. But this says Summer Solstice falls in the constellation of the Hippopotamus. And that becomes important later on. Just like, just like this with Skyrim. Here I am uh, um, pressing tab to escape text. All right. Uh, this part's kind of hard. I'm kind of wishing I had played through as a fighter. I think the fighter might be my new favorite class for this game. These guys have dodging moves, I guess. They can't seem to come up this ramp. That's actually very useful to know. They can't come up the ramp. Huh. Good to know. Also, these guys will respawn if you jump down here again, so... Once you have the key, don't go down there again. In here we have another Anubis dude. We have a locked door, and we have the Prophecy of Set. When Ra rides his chariot highest in the heavens at the palace of the pharaoh, shall the staff of Nefertim be set free from this chamber of the sun. Oop, wrong button. Wrong button again. Okay, Ra, in case you don't know, is the Egyptian god of the sun. So when he rides his chariot highest in the heavens, that would be noon. This takes us here. Uh, that also opens this door. <coughs> oh, those guys are so fun. Okay, and then here... And Horus smiled upon Ramses II with his eye, granting him endless travel. All you have to do is place that eye of Horus right there. And that opens both of these doors that were barred before. I really don't want to mess with these guys. These guys are annoying. Oh wow. Did I, like, not hit him with those... I must not have hit him with those, uh, one of those meteor shots. Or maybe more than one. Good grief. Alright. He took all the mana. Okay, granting endless travel. Yeah, we have three portals here. And most of this hub takes place in these three peripheral worlds. Uh, this is the resting place for the lower crown of Egypt, resting place for the upper crown of Egypt, and down there is the portal to the boss for this hub. So we need to get two crowns. That's kind of the goal. But the main puzzle is actually that Staff of Nefertum back there. So here we have the Palace of the Pharaoh, Pyramid of Anubis, and Temple of Nefertum. Now I kind of know the, some of the stuff that happens in each of these places, but I don't really have a route memorized or a fastest way to solve this hub. So um, what I normally do is just start from the left and, and move around. So let's start at Palace of the Pharaoh. And there's his homing attack. 
It can't really be dodged. Wow, I dodged it. <laughs> I didn't think it could be dodged. Oh, those guys take way too much HP. Okay, so we could proceed this way. But I'm going to I'm going to actually go this way first. I don't remember. I know I know what we get in each place and I don't remember if one needs what the other has. I died down here on my first attempt recording this. But I went the other way first, so I don't know. I'm going to try going this way first, and I'm going to save my game. Because doggone it. There are hydras in this water, which I forgot about. So I jumped into the water and started fighting these uh, ice imps. One down. One Hydra down. I know there's at least one more Hydra and one more Ice in. Nice, okay. Oh, it goes a lot easier if you know what to expect. And here's what we came here for. The Scarab of Time. Down here, open that. down here fight me like a man. Nice, okay. Now if you try to go over this way... You notice he can't hit us. And if we try moving this way, there's a barrier that prevents us. All you have to do to get around that is smash through this wall. And we're on the other side of the magical barrier. That was easy. Stepping on this button does a thing. I don't remember what. And here we have Vernal Equinox lands in the constellation of Gemini. Uh, so... Vernal is Autumn, of course. This just leads out here for some reason. There's no reason to go there. And this takes us back up to the start. So we have a Scarab of Time. I don't think there's anything in here. I don't, I don't remember there being anything in here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in there. If we proceed this way... Huh, I hit him. This guy can't fit through the door. Which is nice. Ooh, and there's his range attack. That charge attack is like impossible to dodge. Okay, there is a secret here. If you smash this. And there's the super version of the Anubis guys. They basically have a lot more HP. 
And they also have that ground attack. The ground flame attack. Don't let it touch you. Um, it's very much like the, uh... It's very much like the ground attack in... Uh... That the Molotars in Hex or in Heretic use. Now he's stuck in place there. But they fall to pieces just like the other Anubis guys do. Once he's down to just an arm, then uh, you can kill him like that. Slick. All right, there's another one right here. Another two. Okay, there were two. In my one of my failed attempts at this. Ha! Get wrecked. Oh, I love the meteor staff. It's so much fun. One of my failed attempts. I didn't see that second one. We should be using more blue mana. Yeah, that. Just that. I think finds us around a corner. That's what's wrong with homing missiles in this game. Fun gameplay right here. Okay, once again there's a hidden button in this room, and if you don't find it, then you basically leave this very uh, impressive and important looking colorful, well decorated room, thinking that there is a trap there. Make sure to pass on the sides and not right down the middle. Thinking that the only reason you came here was for a helmet. But the button's right here. Whoa. The fire attack really hurts. Don't let it touch you. Oh boy. Oh boy, okay. Done. I mean, it really hurts. We have Pharaoh's Key. Pharaoh's Key goes to this door. Can we tease this guy? And. Sweet. I'm gonna change to this then. Uh, hit this wall. Mana, yes please. You have found the burial chamber of the Dark Pharaoh, and our holy strength is gone. Okay, there are two Anubis dudes down here. Whoa. That was easy. I'm trying not to overkill stuff too much because green mana is precious. Actually, all mana is precious. We've actually got some pretty good weapons with this class. Okay, and then this is where the Canopic Jars go. The Duamatef Canopic Jar. The Obtetnith Canopic Jar. The Desnipnith Canopic Jar. And the Happy Canopic Jar. That's my favorite one. I like the happy one. This area becomes important later on. Um, I'm not exactly sure what triggers this to open. 
I came this way first the last time. And it was closed. Um, I, so I think if you go down that pipeway for before you come here, I think this opens. It's the only thing I've kind of found to be the case. And right here we already have our first Konopi star. We have the Konopi star. There it is. Three more to go. All right, so we've done all we can for here for now. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. We need to come back to this place though to place the other canopic jars. Nothing happens until you have all of them here, so there's no need to like keep running back here to place them though. Um, and smashing that guy doesn't do anything either. Alright, so we can exit this level, and I think I'm going to call it a video after that. So we will be heading this way next time. Alright, thanks for watching everybody, and uh, I hope you find it useful, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye for now.